we really know at this point that to close achievement gaps, which is so much of the public conversation, that we need policy and funding to support positive school climate and discipline as the foundation for, the ultimate foundation for academic success, for academic, high academic standards, curriculum reform, engaging instruction. We've heard about successes um, in efforts to reduce the overuse of out-of-school suspension and reduce disproportionality, but we really can't let up. Those are pretty recent successes in most places. We need to continue to uh, ensure that we raise awareness among more and more people. Uh, we need to make data available in the ways that we're talking about, and we need to figure out ways to hold districts accountable so that these successes both deepen and expand to more places. Third, we need to keep in mind that keeping young people in school, so reducing out-of-school suspension, is a minimum threshold. It's not the ultimate goal. In fact, I, we worry about places that bring students back into school for in-school suspension that is marginally better than out-of-school suspension because there's really not productive learning taking place. So we really need to move to making sure that each and every young person has the opportunities and supports they need to be successful. What's been said a few times toward the end is that the, the circumstances that young people face, especially in our urban centers, include high rates of poverty, homelessness, trauma, mental health issues. These are external factors that are creating very challenging conditions. And th these external factors place a huge number of students at risk who require levels of behavior and mental health supports and interventions that are currently unavailable in most schools and districts. 